Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to an FBA sales update. So I've just pulled up uh, ra 10 random sales. I took some screenshots on my phone, on the seller app, and I've literally just pulled up 10 random sales from July to September. They're in no sort of order. I did choose a couple that um, I think are, are, are you know, really good things to look out for and I will, when I get to them, um, I'll talk to them, talk to you about them a little bit more. But for now, I'll just get on with the sales. So, yeah, what number one is a Paragon board game that I got sixteen ninety nine for, um, and I bought that retail arbitrage in the works. Um, it is worth stating actually before we continue, uh, most of these aren't RA, um, but I might be doing another sales up the FBA sales update very soon um, with my RA purchases essentially. Um, so yeah, I've just sort of stuck to car boot and charity shop pickups for this one. Um, Archer's Game, um, I got 20 quid for that, but I did pay up for that. I paid 7 50 um, and that was actually on eBay. Um, I made a bit of m a mistake with that one. Um, I bought it on my sell yeah, I bought it on my selling account and I looked at the pictures and it was fantastic. It looked like it was completely sealed. And I get it, and it's not completely sealed. There's a rip along the seal uh, that I couldn't see in the photos. I paid seven fifty for it, thinking, oh, I'll get $30. Um, but because of that big rip, I had to put the price down, um, and I got 20 quid for it. So I don't think there was much profit in that, really, at all. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. When, when you're sniping on eBay, things like that, you come across these ones which are just fails um, and it, it's just a risk you take really because we're buying off listings that have bad photos and, and bad descriptions and stuff and, and that is just a risk you take so yeah a bit of a fail on that one but I mean I still made profit so it's not too much of a fail um, next was a painting watercolour painting DVD £12 from a £1 investment pretty standard I just scanned it in and knew it had value so yeah that was all right um next was a free stooges box set again a snipe off ebay which was eight cost me eight pound um and I turned that into 25 so that was okay i don't know exact profits on these i could work them out um but i'd need the fees and stuff um but yeah eight pound into 25 so that wasn't too bad um the art of science this was a nice one um, again, actually, another snipe off eBay. I did say that these are all like car boot or charity shop finds, but actually a lot of them are snipes. Um, yeah, The Art of Science, this was a great board game. Um, I got it in perfect condition, um, and I was happy with that. I paid 9 50 for it, so I was, I was happy when it came and it was all intact. Um, and I got 30, yeah, 35 for that, so that was good. Um, and yeah, as I say, that was just brand new and sealed. There was no flaws in the seal or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about that one. I think it sold fairly quick as well. Um, Big Bang Theory box set, yet another eBay snipe um, for £9. So yeah, can't complain, into 30 quid, That was all right. Um, I, I used to, basically I used to snipe um, eBay, eBay. I used to snipe uh, DVD box sets, but... I don't anymore, it's just, I, I don't know, I used to do it and I used to make some good money, but I don't know, I'm just not into doing that at the moment. I might do it, you know, go back to doing it again, but I've just got too many other ways of getting stock that I don't really need to do that anymore. Um, next is one of the things I was talking about. Uh, this is a niche DVD, a Bruce Lee DVD, and I paid 50 pence in a charity shop and um, I got £29, oh, Oh, sorry, 29 euros and 39 cents. I don't know what that is in pounds, probably about 20, 23, 24. Um, but yeah, so from 50p, I was really happy with that. These are the sort of DVDs you want to be looking out for. Um, the niche ones, niche horror DVDs, I think, do okay. Uh, definitely the niche, um, like the fighting ones, like, you know, karate, tai chi all that sort of stuff, they do really well. Um, so yeah, just definitely look out for those niche DVDs. And you know, if you don't have any knowledge on them, 
just scan just if it looks like a niche one and it's new and sealed or maybe even if it isn't new and sealed some of these go for good money used as well um, but just scan it just if, it, if you've got if you just got that little gut instinct or that little thing in your brain telling you just go over and just scan it then do so because you might make yourself a good bit of profit um, so yeah that was okay uh, pretty standard stuff with this one uh, logo board game for 14.99 uh, so yeah, I can't complain really there. Um, and then, fa well, I say finally, this is going to have to be a, a nine sales one because I've left the other sheet of paper that I had my tenth sale on upstairs. Um, I, I suppose I could go and get it and then come down and do a... Yeah, I think I'll do that. So anyway, yeah, so what I'll do is I will do this last sale, go upstairs, get the piece of paper, come back down and just add it in at the end. Um, so yeah, another niche uh, like Tai Chi one, Drunken Tai Chi, new and sealed, 28 euros and 78 cents, and again, I paid 50p. Um, so that, again, it probably works out at 23, 24 quid. Um, so yeah, I can't complain with those sales, and I will just go and get the other sheet, so, and I can tell you the 10th sale. Hi guys, so yeah, I couldn't find that other sheet of paper, but I looked on the uh, snapshots on my on my phone, um, and yeah, it's actually a lock, stock, and two smoking barrels DVD um, that I got for 50p again, um, and that went for 30 quid. So yeah, I was really happy with those, um, and as I've been saying throughout this sales update, you can do really well with these niche DVDs. Um, and of course you saw some niche board games as well there um, and, and they're fantastic if you can get those new and sealed as well um, so yeah that'll, that'll do it for this video guys and I will see you in the next one um, hopefully there will be some more sales updates to come I do want to get into that routine of doing them a little bit more frequently um, but yeah it's just as and when I can at the moment really so yeah I will leave it there and I will see you very soon uh, don't forget to give it a like if you liked it as well See you very soon, guys.